What's going on guys, Ben here, and today we are playing part 4 of our Remnant 2 The Awakened King playthrough. And like I said we pretty much explored the whole kind of area before and everything like that. Um, for the most part, so we're now going to... Although there are... Oh no, this is where we're going to be heading. I was like, oh wait, this bit's red over here. But um, yeah, we've, we've done all the little bits down there and like the dock and everything like that. So um, yeah, we're going to... Basically, yeah, we've yeah we've gone we've done everywhere now. So we're gonna head straight across this bridge, and um, presumably into the castle, which came down out of nowhere, apparently according to the law, I think. So um, yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, let's let's jump straight in. I have in the meantime gone back and managed to upgrade my weapons, both the um, the typewriter and the little shocky gun thing uh they're both now like level 20 and 10 respectively um i think 10 is the cap for the special weapon good. and 20 is the cap for the normal weapon so we might find because they were a few levels under but i found i had loads of scrap and stuff so i think uh i think yeah that this might make it a little bit of a nicer time because we're actually geared up now oh yeah, yeah, that, that, was, that was nice. Oh, oh, all right. There we go. And I'm still using this new melee. It's not, um, this one hasn't been upgraded at all. So this is level zero, technically. Um, awesome ladders down there. I'm guessing this is a gap we can't cross. Yeah, we can't jump that. Can't jump that. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, always love how the, the dog just jumps. Okay, right. All the ladders. Oh. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> God, you really not giving me a chance there. Oof, I'm just waiting. He was, he was hard camping. Bottom of the ladder. Here they come. Take them down. Someone there as well. Mm. Oh, alright guys. What I've really been enjoying though is the electric gun. What is this even called? What is this actually called? The Enigma. That's it. The Enigma. The Enigma is fun. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I should I should just commit, shouldn't I? Yeah, look at that. It feels like force lightning. It feels like I'm like a Jedi. Or a Sith. Get rid of these ones. Yeah, I'm guessing they're coming. Let's get our little... Oh, I don't know if I wanted these, actually. I, I want the floaty boys, don't I? We'll see how these guys fare. They're, they're not doing a bad job so far. Oh, no. Oh, the poison. Yeah, I found this ring. Um, so I was doing a, like a different different playthrough, not on the adventure slot, but on, like, uh, join someone's game. And... Uh, I found this ring in Narud, I think it is, the, the, the foggy, smoky place. Let's get rid of those guys. I want the, uh, I mean, that's why these are gone, because I, I was leveling up a different class. But I found this ring that gives me a shield. Yeah, when my, when I get down to a quarter health, it gives me a quarter of shield um, as bonus. So I'm technically at 50%. Um... Like 50% still. Basically, when I drop to quarter, it gives me another quarter of like temporary shield. Um, just to help out, because you know, I need a full on crutch. This is the shortcut here. It's all good. We've opened this one now. And obviously, because we've sat at the checkpoint, everyone's back here as well. Is he coming up? But the, the, the dog's gone. The dog's like, come here, pal. Oh, 
Oh. Right, there we go. Let's get that one. And then... There we go. There we go. I don't even really need to be down here. I was just opening the shortcut. And they started it. We're just finishing it. Right. Enough of this. Oh, oh, that's too big to climb up, apparently. Right. There is, like, some treasure there. How do we get that? Where are we looking? There's an elevator. Okay. Okay. We do want to kind of remember that and come back. Yeah, okay. Presumably there's something up here that'll take us down. Enemies in that. Let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, I know these guys just squirm. Oh, it works so well. Sometimes I feel like the Enigma is a bit of a cheat code. Is there something making noise in there, is that? Is that just the cave making sound? Okay, so this is going to be... This is the objective, isn't it? We will... Yeah, we will come back here. First, we want to go up those stairs. Uh, try and see if we can get that birdcage thing. It's still making... Twinkly little sound, isn't it? Yeah. Let's explore the path. Let's reload our weapons as well. Wait, on the map, is that a... I was just unexplored. It's not a... It's not the main path. Let's, let's see what our options are. Oh. Network connection lost. Have I? Nope. Apparently it's okay. Okay. Don't know about that. Good job we're not playing an online game. Good job it didn't kick me out. <laughs> That's all good. We don't need to be online right now. We have a checkpoint here. So let's sit here. We might come back down and um, do that do that portal. I just want to see, like, all the permutations, you know? All the all the map. So here's the other side of the bridge. <laughs> Electric works really good against those guys. Um, still hear that glistening, so it must be up here. God, this guy. Oh, did I just kill my... Oh no, this ain't good. Alright, let's get rid of you. Oh no, I'm on the wrong setting. There we go, right. This is a disaster. There we go. Let's just zap him. That's <laughs> how good this gun is, is that even when you're, like, messing up, <laughs> it still just hard carries you. Right. What I was trying to do was call both my little winged minions, even though I do feel they're not as useful as my first playthrough of this. 
here we go here's the here's the elevator how do we get this down oh there we go yeah we gave it power okay oh the other the other lever was to call it back up i guess okay nice this is what we're after what is this an elevated ring increased dodge weight threshold by five and reduces encumbrance by five. Oh, that's pretty good um for my build it doesn't matter because i've got that i've got the little shadow step thing but that's pretty good if you like i said the i've had this on pretty much straight from as soon as i i found the um the amulet and the ring no not soul guard this one in like my first area in yesha like i've pretty sure it was like the first area i found the bow as well the nice little is it sagittarius bow and that hard carried me through the game i have i have not equipped a different amulet basically since i found that amulet because apparently i just stumbled across it but it was like super rare at the time like everyone was like on reddit like how do i get the blood moon how do i how do i do this and i was just like blood moon what just walking around like no idea that I was even in a blood moon and yeah i was able to like go down underneath uh like there's a little extra section underneath the um the temple or whatever it was and i think the ring was there or was the was the, yeah the ring and the bow are found in the same place aren't they the sagittarius but the ring was behind it being a um I can't remember. I think the ring was behind it being a blood moon. Or maybe the amulet was and the ring was somewhere else in Yesha. But yeah, basically combine them both. And you get the little shadow step. And I basically haven't taken it off. Yeah, see electric just works so well against these guys. <laughs> the typewriter is making a making a real meal out of it. Yeah, this is this is the zappy gun. This is what we got. This is what we keep him. Is that a chest? That is a chest. Can we, can we, can we get it? Yeah, we can. There we go. What have we got? Skill damage upgrade bandage. That's probably the one thing I feel like I don't mess around with that much. In fact, I don't even have any equipped. Is the, how do I even, do I inspect it? Yeah. These guys, like. These are such like small percentages. I think it's the un unequipped them from when I changed it over, but like, I don't know. Wish you could just order it by like the best to worst. Like you can't even, you can't even order them. Um, I think these three are what's equipped on a different one, isn't it? I had damage reduction, gray health rate. The grey health rate might be good. Um, give ourselves more ammo. More armor. Damage reduction. Stamina recovery. Like 5%. Do I feel that? Maybe. Elemental damage. Like 1% extra mod duration is probably not even like one second. Like, you know what I mean? There's so much. Uh, like weapon swap speed is that. Like almost 10% quicker. We do swap between the two. Maybe that's useful. And then weak spots. The red seems to be damaged. Melee, crit. Crit, crit. So can we like... Since that's like crit and that's crit. And they're both the same. Can we just like... Ditch one of them? Can we sell them? Range crit. That's a plus four. So it really... We want the plus fours, don't we? This is a this is a plus one. What's 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 giving us good bang for our buck? Weapon spread. Do my weapons even have spread? 
I think my tummy gun probably does. Ranged fire rate. Maybe maybe that's quite good. Get the gun firing quicker. And then Ordinary health. Don't really care about melee that much. Mod costs. Does that mean we it takes less mod to like use the mod ability? We might do mod cost and then yeah we'll do that we'll do that i'm gonna stick with the basic heart for now because yeah i mean it's pretty cool though right that's what we're gonna go so we actually have these switched on now this is thunder well, that was like a big enemy then Okay, so it looks like we got a big checkpoint up ahead from the map. Oh no, that's where we came through. The, that's on a different level, that's underneath. So, we do have to go underneath the castle. There's not like a, not a tough choice here. We just have to go back and do the uh, the optional path anyway. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go explore that, that little bit below. Um, probably should use the checkpoint since everyone's going to be down... Like alive downstairs anyway. Yeah. And I do have two trait points. Let's just sit here quick just so enemies don't don't snipe me. Um I thought I maxed my vigor. Hmm. Spirit. Scholar's Mac. I do bark skin. I play a very like tanky kind of role. Well that's that's the idea. I try and have like stacks of the bulwark. Which it, I get when I have my summons out. I think my damage reduction. Is only twenty three percent now. Oh. Pretty sure there should be more. Or did I take a ring off for that? Oh, each active summon. There we go. Hey guys. Hi guys. Right. So we're just gonna tuck in here. Clear these guys out again. Which with the electric gun shouldn't be too much of an issue. I wonder what that, that tingly sound is. Yeah, I like that. Is it just the cave? It sounds like there's something right above me, but I was above and didn't seem to be anything. Okay. Let's get into the castle. Okay. I actually really like the uh, the palace levels the first time around. Like, it's a very cool environment. I think that would be my my only like drawback that I have really with Remnant at the moment is that, and and I think with this DLC they've done the same. It's nice that they've visited and expanded on this location, but I want to see more areas. There were three worlds, weren't there? There was the, um... There was this area. You got Yesha Forest. And then there was the... Like, the... What's the, like... The cube place. Um... And obviously within this world, you had the, like, the Bloodborne-esque kind of, you know, villages and stuff that we've seen already. And then you got the decadent palaces and stuff. Like, there's cool areas within those areas, you know? And Nerud, I, I think a lot of people underrate Nerud. <laughs> I really, I really like it for its like, 
kind of alien Prometheus vibes. Like it kind of very creepy sci-fi end of the world vibes. I like, really like that. And the maps are huge, which I really do like. But we had Yesha last time, you know, as well. And we've been to the cube world before. Not as in depth, but, you know, we'd been there before and stuff. And, um, and obviously we got to go back to the route and everything like that. Like the earth, I guess. Um, so in terms of locations to the original remnant, it was nice to revisit those locations and, you know, see them again. And how this game looks as well, you know, updated and everything like that. But I'm almost, I guess I'm saying I almost love these worlds so much. That I want to see what else they can create. Because they've created some amazing, like, areas. So I was a bit surprised that the DLC was not, an, like, I thought that would just be nailed on. That these are, like, going to be new areas, like, new worlds that we'd explore. Um, and this one is just coming back to the, to the same, same place we've been before, but albeit a new, new version. But that would be like my only gripe. And that's like, if I'm really splitting hairs, you know, I'd like to see some more variety in the future of, I, I imagine the next DLC wouldn't be like, oh, let's return to Yesha. It's going to be probably a new a new location, I would imagine. That sound always means there's a big guy. There's the big guy. Okay. Okay, he wasn't too bad. Enigma hard carrying me. There we go. But yeah, that's not to say that there's anything like negative about this. I just um I just really like the worlds they, they create. And I was looking forward originally to seeing a new world. And then I was ple I'm pleasantly surprised, you know, to come back here and it still feel fresh. And a really good job of that. Yeah, I want to see some more new stuff, you know? I don't really know where I'm going in terms of I'm trying to tactically explore this. That's going to lead back to the main hall. Let's, let's go up here. Let's have a look. Like normal, we're going to try and clear out the map. Double check. We've got everything. Got back in here. Oh, send them out. I can do that. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, guys. Actually makes that easier. Oh, this fucking Sauron. Jesus. Oh, he's quite straightforward now. Was it because my weapons were so underleveled last time? I feel like I'm having a much nicer time with this now. Like they're dying a lot quicker. Which is, which is good. That's what we like to see. I'm, I'm happy with this. Don't negate the upgrades, guys. Don't, don't sleep on them. Okay, yeah. That's us back here now. So, so we can go into that main... That main room. Oh, okay. Let's go up on this balcony first as well. See if there's anything up here. Some hardened iron. I liked in the first game how you could break stuff and you were going to get loads of scrap. Like, I would fund my entire my entire build with all the scrap. I'd be rolling into everything. On the plus side, I like that 
it doesn't reward you for that as much now so you spend more time exploring and less time rolling into crate after crate after crate Ooh. this is a pretty drippy floor isn't it like i don't know if i had like a massive castle like mansion i would quite like a mirror floor but can you imagine the upkeep like and he spilled something like yeah i guess it would be easy to get it out and carpet but um yeah it's pretty or be more scatty is if you had the ceiling as a mirror and so you just had these like an infinite mirror like it would hurt to look down or up probably <laughs> you just want to look straight ahead at all times all right let's go down to the depths there's another chest let's have a look at that when we get fairy needle relic dust scrap Well, I'm quite liking this little thing. I haven't really used the ability on it yet. Um, it has one, doesn't it? Charge many hits, grant fathomless deep. Yeah. I just swing it quickly. Pick all their little tables. Back up through here. And I've never had to use these, but I think I think when I was playing with Jersey, he said something can spit on you and make you infected, and then you come here to like rinse it off. Um or something like that. I've never been affected that way. <laughs> They always look like there's something collectible like I should drink out of them. <laughs> oh, might have that wrong though. Let's put the electric gun on. Oh no, I need to reload. Doggo, forgive me. There we go. There's that, there's that tingling again, like, is it just the, the residual stuff they leave over? Like the weird summoner guy? Makes it sound like there's like a hidden item nearby. And I want it. This is where we just came out of, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it makes it sound like there's a... Like a secret goodie that I'm missing out on. There we go. Summon it. Little buddies act as a little alarm as well when I'm in my menu. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like the residual leftover sound of his... He does like a little shield wall thing, doesn't he? Sounds collectible. But sadly, I don't think it is. Yeah. Okay. It's all good. Oh, hello. There we go. Let me reload. Oh, I've got to start the animation again. Really? There we go. Hey, we were just up there. Where'd you come from? <laughs> he's he's dead already. Like, yeah. I, I haven't changed difficulty. Remember, we just did this on normal difficulty. 
And I think the difference is now is that I've actually leveled up my weapons. <laughs> it's not so much of a struggle. Um, which is what they're meant to be on. They're meant to be on this level. Okay. Let's uh, get our little checkpoint. Let's head. Oh, there you guys. Let's head into this next area. With the boss. It's a boss fight right now. The grey. Ah! <laughs> He's the boss. He doesn't like these guys either. They're not on the same side then. Oh! Oh, he's the blade of the king. He's not the king. Uh, run, 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 run. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't really know how this works. I just create little webs. Oh, he's throwing shit at me. Luckily, I set him on fire, so he's still doing some damage, at least. My summons are both gone. I'm getting that heal. Yeah, it's getting that heal. Oh, my God. Okay, mate. Jeez. We gotta kill him this time, because... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh shit. Instant kill? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Dude just insta killed me. Oh my god. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's get these guys up. Um. Oh, there he is. Right. Ow. Oh, he's done it again? No, I'm invisible. You get instant kills. And I technically shadow stepped out of that and he man reached into the shadows. And just made sure. He just, he just made sure. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. 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 Um, I don't know what to, uh, what to think here. I guess I need to... Oh, the guy's spammy. Come on. Okay. 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 What, did my creatures not come through the veil with me? Wow, okay. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing on this one. Why is he insta-killing me all of a sudden? Why was he not insta-killing me before? Did he just kill my flyer in one go? Shit. Why is he so much harder? What? Summon, do you want to... Any danger? Oh my god, this guy. Why is my summon not taking aggro? This is what I mean by the summons not being as good this time. Like, they just don't take aggro anymore. Oh, do you have to interrupt him with damage when he's... Okay, so now he's going to do his little...
I guess it's only gonna hold us for so long. Okay. And he's already killed my summon. Amazing. Shouldn't have brought my summon out. He's like destroying. Wow. How do you even... I might have to look this up because I don't even know how you cope with that. He is so powerful. No, no. No, no. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so. you to keep your distance from him. You'll be patient and attack him once he finishes each attack. You can flank and damage him from behind. During the second phase, Bruin will leap onto an elevated platform and you'll evade all the projectiles from distance. That's fine. You lose a long range weapon to inflict damage on him and then he'll descend, start a fresh assault, evade his charges by rolling and aim your attacks from behind, focus on his head. I don't know about how useful that was that I didn't already know. He's just super tough. Kills my summons instantly. Um, is the bigger summon... I don't know if the bigger summon would be better. I don't really normally use him. I feel like he's a bit... He's a bit mid, but... The fact he's waiting right there for me to, like, gut me as soon as I come out as well is a bit... And it says dodge, but I tried to dodge. Okay. Okay, let's get up here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get my big guy out. Oh. Come on. Oh my god. Used to be. Look how slow he is. Used to be. Maybe I'm imagining it. Used to be they would take aggro. What is the point in having a summoner if your summons don't take aggro? I'm just bitching now. But the fact he's just ignoring all my summons makes this entire build kind of obsolete. Okay, he's going up that side now. Now he's going to shred my guy. He's killed it. He's killed it instantly. Oh my god, he just one shot it. And my dog's down. I don't really like this boss fight. I'm not going to lie. More so because it feels like it's a bit of a... Like it's not skill based, it's just attrition. <laughs> the fact he curves as well as little jab. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna run around while my dog just wears him down with bleeds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, reload, 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 reload. Don't let him go, don't let him go, don't let him go, don't let him go! No! Why did we let him go?
Oh my god. I'm out of stamina, I think. No, no, it just wouldn't. Shift wouldn't work. Oh my god, the pain. No, don't lose it now. Got it. Got it. Ah. Oh. Not gonna lie. I'm trying to remember a least enjoyable boss fight. That one, I did not like that one. I did not like that one at all. Oh, I think it just didn't work well for my build. That was a real struggle. Whew. But just letting the doggo just bite him from behind while I just ran around, that worked at least. I can't carry any more of that. And you. Very disappointed in you. There's a there's a lot to be desired. This guy is just like should be able to like carry my shit or something. Like he's useless. Right, anyway, enough laying into the uh my summon. Gib loot. What do we get? Nothing. We don't even get a ring or anything. We just got some trait points. I will take it. Put some more in damage resistance. I'm just trying to be like, please don't kill me. Please. Reload, right. Okay. So, there's a checkpoint there. Another chest? No. Mm. Let me sit down. And yeah, it's a good, good point actually. I think we'll uh, go back to these guys because they are like, sit down again. Um, they are better than nothing, you know. But yeah, I don't know if they patch that or if this is like one of those what's it Mandela effects where I just believe in my head, but I seem to remember them taking aggro and being a lot more efficient. Almost, you know, to the point, too strong. So maybe they, they have nerfed it because of that. How do we how do we where do we where do we go? What is that it? Is that just like He was just a, just a random boss at the end of this. And there's not even an artifact in here, like a, like a piece of equipment. That was, that was very poor. I guess, okay, we can just leave the dungeon then. Um, but I thought we had to go through here. I thought we had to go through here. Um come out the other side because that door was locked so we're gonna have to rethink that because this dungeon was a dead end okay oh so there is there is map above us There's another door there. Right where... Oh, but that's the locked one. Okay. So this one, these aren't the same. Sometimes they loop. But... Okay. So if we head back up... I guess we just got to head back up and, and have a look. See what we can... See what we can find. Let's get these guys out. Because at least against the little guys, they do still, like, take some... Distractions, you know. <laughs> Look at them just stuck there. Rather there. Okay, there we go. Teleport. Okay. It is that kind of uh, wizards kind of making that shimmery sound as well. It sounds like loot. 
because we killed him before he cast it and he didn't the sound wasn't there now so it seems to be the sound persists after death all right maybe i missed something but we'll have another little look up here or we have to fight that big guy again Maybe I just jumped off though, didn't I? Maybe there is more this way. I just jumped off, didn't I, to get the crate. There we go. I'm just gonna lean heavily on the Enigma. That's my crutch. Yeah, I jumped off here, didn't I? We didn't actually go through, so it wasn't a dead end. I just didn't explore this bit. I got distracted by my little mark things, whatever they were. The little um, tomes, runes. Come on. If everyone moved out my way. Oh my goodness. They get in the way so much more than... If you're watching this, I do not recommend Summoner. At all. Not anymore. Like the, <laughs> the Summoner AI is still... Bad. It seems like it's only been nerfed. Someone in the comments recommended Engineer. Uh, I think on episode 2. And I don't have Engineer. But I think it's in Narud, right? It's like... Yeah, sort of thing that you can get it in the smoke like an alien device or something so i need to go back to narud but i can't do that now because if i do that now it will reset the adventure because you can only have one adventure open at a time and obviously my campaign's finished so yeah i'm gonna i'm kind of stuck with what i've got at the moment because nothing else is leveled <laughs> Do you guys have your other classes leveled, or are you like me? You've just got your one and two class levels. I've been starting to work on... What's it? Oh, um... Challenger and Hunter. But... Yeah, we've got we to gotta see what those. But here we go. So here's the main bit. So where's... Where's this section, though? I feel like maybe this is afterwards? Maybe we come out here after. After this bit. Like, this is the main bit. I'm going to come out. Because I want to go to that area. I think we can have a look afterwards. Even if this, like, becomes, like, the final boss and everything. And we can... We can come back later, normally. Still explore. Okay. Uh, we don't need to touch it because we're. Uh... Actually, we do because our summons didn't come through. So, <laughs> let's. Might as well. I was going to say we don't need to replenish our hearts, but. I forgot the summons despawned. Place of the one true king. Okay. So, we crashed. Running up those stairs. Running up that hill. Keep bush. Okay. 
Let's try that again. <laughs> we didn't like that. Let's not run up the stairs right away. Let's, uh, there's a little side door here. This might be, this might lead to the other side door we found earlier. We can, we can open this as well. No, we can't. That's locked. What are you fighting? Oh, there he goes. Oh, there is a chest here. Let's take that. Freebie. Okay. Let's go through this side door first. Then we'll go upstairs and downstairs and all that later. Let's do this one. That's very right. Still have like, like I said, a couple of a couple of little bugs here and there, like crashes. Or, nothing game breaking in terms of losing like my data or anything though. But little concern for uh, like crashes and stuff i was playing the other day and had a like a hard freeze where the audio is still working but my character was like frozen and i was just dying but on my screen i was just standing um yeah so uh, I don't like the look of not this. not about as little technical issues here and there but for the most part it works perfectly fine We, we like purple. A weightless weight. My problem with amulets is that I'm always like, oh, never get to use it because I have to use the full moon circlet. Um, increase movement speed and reduce stamina cost. For every five points of armor encumbrance. Okay, so the more you weigh, the more your speed and reduce the stamina cost. Okay, that's pretty cool. That would be useful if we were going for a heavy build like we are doing but weren't using the shadow step my thing is the shadow step is a must i have to have that so i have to have that amulet which means all those other amulets i've not tried because <laughs> it would fundamentally change the play style That isn't it. Okay. Yeah, okay. That was just we'll just run back around. I don't know why I jumped over that. Because I could see on the map it went around the same place. I just wanted to double check there was no No loot. No goodies. Uh let's yeah, let's go this way. My summon still alive? Yeah. Okay. That's a bit like the mirrored room we were in before. Oh, is this just like an upside down? Like the... Because they had that in the main castle, didn't they? Like a... Like a good and a bad version. I can't remember what it was called exactly. The, the, the hue is darker, isn't it? So I don't know if we're like in a negative version of that. Yeah, same layout. So I think I think we are. I think we're in the the night version. Someone someone doing shit in there. Let's get rid of these guys. Is there a big guy like following us or something? Seems not. Um, any chests? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, there we go. A bird in flight knows voices saying a bell that sways but still won't ring. A twisted root deep in the ground will what is lost ever be found. It's probably some really elaborate... puzzle here oh that horn is just like anxiety like who where come out come out and fight me okay 
And they're both gonna go similar places. You are. What's that? Nice. There's a treasure chest here. We sniff out the loot. Uh, one of my summoners still having a fight over here. I think it is. Okay. Oh, I set myself on fire. That's not, not, not good. Not good. Okay. Yeah, that glisten, it kind of seems to linger after that, uh, that enemy dies. It just sounds like there's, like, something that I can pick up. Like, like, old school games, like, in Spyro or something, like, it would, like, have a little glisten sound. as like, this loot here, this treasure you can pick up. My brain's just hardwired. Hardwired to link that sound. Okay. Okay. I was saying, I'm missing a table, but maybe maybe it's just a little lounge. Yeah. All right, so I'll stop using this horn just for one or two enemies. I'm used to it being like the horn is for like that, basically. <laughs> I thought the horn was like the oh shit. Like. <laughs> Alright. Do you have a checkpoint here? Two. And all the hardened dime. And yeah, we don't need to bring them with us. Wait, but that's not on the map. Is this? Oh. Oh, there you are, dude. What does he give me? What's that purple bar? Is that... Is that new? Oh, just blight. Where are they? Where are they fighting? Are we inside the maze? Is this a, basically a maze? Okay, we've got different doors that are locked. So we just got that one entrance to begin with. I'm actually running low on my electric. Should probably conserve it. Oh, never mind. Don't need to conserve it. He's giving me more. Um, okay, so I guess we can go through this one. This is the only one that's... The door is open. And we have no map. Is there a little hedge maze? What's the rule for this? You like always go left or something and you end up, you'll end up, or if you can go left, you go left. Is that a rule or is that something I just made up? I remember hearing there was like a, always like a little trick to like a puzzle. Basically, if you can go left, you go left. If you can't, then you go right, obviously, or straight ahead or whatever, until you can... Like, we can't go left, so we have to go right. But I guess doesn't that depend on what side of the maze you start? I don't know. Maybe I'm just making that up entirely. <laughs> I am no professional maze runner. Have you guys seen that movie, Maze Runner? That's actually quite a... I enjoyed that movie. 
I think it came out around similar times like Hunger Games and stuff. So, you know, something like movies always come out in like pairs, like similar types and one does well, one does okay. Um, yeah, Maze Runner I don't think did as well as Hunger Games did, obviously. But I think my left theory is working, guys. But we're going to go right here just to check. Oh, this guy. I don't like this guy. I just like setting the little traps. Enigma is definitely a fun little gun. Um, yeah, look, every time we go right, it is a dead end. So we're going to go left. This first first left is not a dead end. Let's go. Now we got straight, but we got left, which again, I'll tell you guys, I, either I'm very lucky there or I'm right and left and left in a maze, if available, is the solution. Not that this was a super hard maze anyway in the end, but I don't know how we get on that side though, but looks like this guy's been waiting for us. He's been waiting for the beef. Right. Shout out to the like the trait rework as well and like dropping it down to 10 points and stuff. Redo really like like the uh, trait rework this time around. What? What? I want that ability. Wraith Liege. Party and cubes. Ow. Did he just murder my... Yes, he did. He, he did just murder my entire... Isn't the cube thing like a random perk or something? Like, not all, he won't always have that. Just my one has that. How do you dodge this? Now I'm cursed as well? Do we like, get in close? Oh no, not to reload though. I, we, we somehow did that. I, I was too busy reloading. Okay. Long ammo. Okay, that was... I thought that wasn't going to go as well as it did. Morium. We got a prophecy. Mutator. Not sure what that is. Cursed. Right, do I have something? We can get rid of curse use <laughs> use some of these things that i never use i've got things in here as well like what do i do with the faith seed what do i do with like the neck necrosite strand like these things i'm just hoarding mutated growth like i've just got stuff along the way suppression um Practical sweat. Oh, yeah, I can have one of these on, can't I? Because they last for like an hour, don't they? I might drink that anyway. I think the curse is going, but... I'm not sure I have a... Oh, cures curse. There we go. Purified salve. Lovely. There we go. There is a little chest here on the right, apparently. Okay. Okay. I thought he was going to be a lot more difficult, the Wraith Leech. Especially the cubes. I'm shredding me, but um, I don't know. While well, I was trying to figure out my ammo management. I'll, I'll see that back when I'm doing the edit for this. When I'm uh, putting, it, putting it all together. But um, yeah. I didn't notice his health was going down. I just shot him with a cube and then had to reload. Um, I guess my summons were doing their job at this point. Was it? That's a big mirror. We're gonna. I mean, this is gonna explore this side of the maze. Nope, because we're locked there. There is a side of the maze, though. We just can't explore that right now. Is this the mirror? Is this gonna take us to the 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 
nice side, like the, the sunny side of uh, of this world. I think it is a similar mechanic, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. What was it? The Walk of Forgotten? The Forgotten? Some Walk of Remembrance? Path of the Forgotten or something. Walk of the Remembrance. Okay. So now this side is blocked. And this side will be open, won't it? It's a clever way of doing it. Like, I wonder though, like, from a design point of view, it's cool. But from a technical, like, gameplay point of view, does this save space that they have, like, the same map? But does it same saves designing the layout twice, I guess? They have the same layout, they just repopulate it with a light or dark aesthetic. Pretty cool, though. Okay, let's. I may have been too harsh on my summons. Seemed to do a good job last time. <laughs> okay, so okay, my 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 theory of left in the maze doesn't work here. Although this is more the end of the maze, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. So we'll go we'll go right. That unlocks that shortcut. I wonder if that shortcut's now going to be unlocked in the dark world. You know what I mean? Like, if we now go back, will this door be open? Go. Oh, hello. Oh, dude. Um. Yeah, I'm intrigued. explore this and then we might if we can pop back through the mirror i need to reload it's like i said that door might be unlocked for us every time i use the other gun i'm always reminded why i should just use the enigma <laughs> enigma works really well on these guys that's that one unlocked as well. Okay. I didn't even try to get in here, but that's probably the medallion to get in. And this door's locked on this side now. Where are my summons gone? I was just praising them. They are nowhere to be seen. They're fighting someone else. Yeah, it just seemed like this is also a dead end. Like we can't. go out this way we can't go out into this as a permanent state i think we do i think um i think we should go back into the darkness because i think this will open the, uh, the seal we've got will open this i think i just don't really want to open it yet you know We're going to test the theory.
I'm going to test it. I'm going to go back and see if those doors now are open. Because obviously the door on the right hand side won't be open. But presumably the Wraith Leech won't be back. So. I'm hoping. Yeah, he's gone. All the main threats are not an issue. We go out here. Ah, oh, no. Okay, the door is shut. It is like fully on the portal. Okay, never mind. I thought that might be like quite a cool little trick, but I guess they are two separate planes of existence. They're not. Um. They're not that linked. The door on one side is a door on another. Right. Okay. We had to put the theory to test. So I guess we'll use the seal and what we got. And use that on the middle, that big middle room. Zappy zappy. There we go. Yeah, you can wait there. Put that medallion in. Yeah, perfect fit. Well, we're starting that fight then. In we go. Right. Okay. There's a gift of euphoria. New amulet. 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 Spending 25 stamina grants 5% critical chance. That's pretty cool. Um... I'm guessing that's it though. I guess do we, do we just leave the dungeon? I want to go back to the, the dark side place just because... Because there'll be one in there to leave the dungeon if we if we have completed it all, but... I just want to check what the... If we can get into the big room in the middle. In this side. And maybe the medallion works both ways. Maybe. I didn't really pay attention to the big bit in the middle, really. I didn't, didn't really notice it. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's get ready to cube this guy. Oh, just zap him. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so is there something in here we can go in? Because it looks like there is a door on the map. I didn't even try it. Oh, there's got to be something else then, because there's a there's a dark version. Oh, there's got to be, got to be something, because um, or was it a choice? Oh, it's a, sometimes the game does this, doesn't it? It's a choice. It gives you one or gives you the option. So on this run, I've gone for the stamp. Why are these guys fighting? Like, honestly, um, yeah, I think that's what it is. The game doesn't give you everything in that in the one run. So I guess we won't know. Are we happy with the stamina amulet? Probably not, because we don't really use it. But, um, we, we're not going to use change your amulet, but, um, yeah, I guess on the scale of things.
yeah, I guess on the scale of things, it's, um, we found something at least to unlock towards the collection. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, that's a good time, like a good point to leave it for now. And then we'll continue this in the next episode for exploring the rest of this castle. Um... So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what is your favorite area in Remnant 2? Like, is it Osam? Is it Yaisha? Um, is it Narud? Um, you know, those ones. Let me know and why. Comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.